Good morning, my Earth Sign Collective. I hope you're having a wonderful day. What's up, Earth Signs? You can ring my bell. Ring my bell. Ring a ling a ling. Earth Signs, I was drawn to just do a cards reading. I want you to focus on the cards, uh, the images. Remember what happens during a reading happens for a reason. I can be uh, talking on something, but maybe a card or an image on a card is going to speak to you differently, okay? So this is kind of trust your gut, your guidance, and your intuition on the cards. Something may pop up that's a little more different. I want you focusing on the imagery and the cards. Mm. God protects me and God fights my battles. No weapon formed in spirit or physical against me shall prosper. I'm highly favored and protected from all evil, as is my earth sign collective. Virgo, Taurus, and Capricorn. What is the energy spirit for Virgo, Taurus, and Capricorn? I ask that you give us the guidance, the message out that you would like. I want you to pay very close attention to the layout of the spread as well. We're just going to kind of freestyle it and see what the hell goes. What do you have for my Earth Sign Collective? Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Please and thank you, Spirit. Please and thank you, Spirit. Earth Sign Collective. Please and thank you, Spirit. Seven of Swords in reverse. So I think you're going to uncover some deception here, Earth Signs, or there is something going on in the background, but I don't think you're going to have to worry because I feel like this is going to kind of get discovered on itself. Uh, Nine of Pentacles energy here. You see how she's just looking forward. Got the little bird there. Kind of picking up the, the wisdom, guys and gals, with the bird energy, right? Your ancestors. Uh, and holding that pentacle. You see... And notice the earrings. There's the pentacles in the ear. There's the pentacles up in the headpiece. This is you thinking about uh, your stability, thinking about your money, thinking about your work, right? Holding it. How do I want to put this? It's like a very comfortable hold. You, you notice the hand. You notice how she's holding that. I'm making sure you can see the cards. Yeah, you can see the cards. But then you got this Seven of Swords energy in the background. You see, they're kind of looking over there at it. But I really feel collective that this energy isn't going to be able to affect you. Uh -uh. Empress energy. For some of you, this could be family or friends. Some of you baby mama, baby daddy energy, right? There is no sex in tarot. So this is could be someone that you know you had a child with or you grew up with. Notice again with the birds. This is kind of like ancestor energy. You see the little uh, deer down there, like the deer in the headlight look? Someone realizes. I think this person realizes that you've caught on to them. Okay, there's a little fox energy. You see the two horses in the background. You notice the birds up in the tree, right? There's like four different birds up there. But notice this bigger, older, like a wiser bird. You are being guided. Trust it, because this is definitely someone who is probably very close in your energy uh, field collective. I'm drawn to the three and the nine there, right? And I was thinking six degrees of separation. Uh, some of you, this could be your like long lost um, loved ones that have passed over. Some of you energy uh, really drawn to that like red bird there. I don't think that's a red bird. It's a different mix because of the black feathers. Um, six. Six degrees of separation. Six. Six, seven. That's interesting. Three, seven, nine could mean something. Three, six, nine kind of progressions by the power of three times three, right? This is your ancestors protecting what you got by the power of three times three. Bringing in abundance. Bringing in. And you notice how she's holding that baby, mother, 
the, the, the mother figure kind of entwined in that tree. Some of you, this could be your grandmother type energy, right? Some of you six generations back. Six. Six degrees of separation. For a lot of you, you don't realize your ancestors are keeping you from. Because you see, this figure is over here watching that, but mama here sees everything, right? Like that uh, mother energy. Mom's got eyes in the back of her head. Some of y'all are being protected by uh, the feminines. Some of you by feminine energies that have passed on that are watching this deception, right? She she ain't got to be looking over there at him. She got eyes in the back of her head, right? She's focusing on doing what she needs to, which is, you know, a lot of you uh, loving yourself, healing that inner child, getting the healing, taking care of, of, of your loved ones, doing what you need to do. This empress is taking care of her loved ones. For a lot of you, this is an energy that has passed over. Keep wanting to say six degrees of separation. So that can mean something to somebody. But notice this nine of pentacles energy. See them pentacles up there on that hat? That kind of like jester's hat? A lot of you look, take more of a, I'm wanting to say a lackadaisical approach to life. This is when it comes to your finances, thinking outside the box, being more creative. To me, this represents ideas that you could be having, thoughts that could be going through your head that could help you bring in abundance. Because you see the way she's holding that pentacle. It's like, uh, you know, security and, and, and safety is there, but it's like there are so much more out there. And I'm going to the pinnacles in that jester's cap up here with this, these bird energies around this empress energy. And you notice the tree up there, right? The tree that that the birds can create a, a safe nest in. A lot of you, this is uh, intergenerational abundance, right? This is things that were meant to be given to the family as a whole. Some of you are going to be doing things that's going to bring in uh, generational wealth, opportunities, businesses, right? Collaborations. Uh, if you had any business, uh, people that ran businesses in your family, that could be them watching over what you got going on. If you had someone that uh, maybe they ran a shop, maybe they uh, were a business person or this person was created and like had little side jobs. Uh, this empress energy right here, right? Very creative, very down to earth. We see the horses. Maybe someone was into farming, right? Because we got like the country scene here. Someone could have bred horses. We got two horses in the background. We got the little fox. Uh, looks like two little raccoons. Is that two baby foxes? Y'all, I don't know what the hell those are. If those are just baby foxes and that's the mommy fox. Oh, that is what we got going on. Okay, it took me a minute, collective. You see, there's the mama horse. There's the baby horse. There's the mama fox. There's the baby fox. There's the uh, mama goose. There's the baby goose. We don't, however, see uh, the doe. No, y'all, I'm looking. I don't see spots on that. So maybe the mama deer is the one that hasn't had the baby yet. And all the other mamas are coming around to kind of help her give birth and create what she needs to create. Get that idea out there, right? For a lot of you, that's those ideas right there. What are you birthing? You're getting a lot of great creative ideas. Some of you, maybe it's more organically based uh, the ideas that you're getting or more based in natural products, more based on things that are uh, better for the universe. That looks like a hummingbird energy, but it looks a little bigger than a hummingbird, but I'm drawn to the beak, right? Uh, this like that motherly sweetness. So there's definitely a feminine, a strong motherly feminine energy here, because it just dawned on me with the mamas, with their babies. And like I said, I'm thinking six degrees of separation. So for some of you, this could be ancestors watching over from six generations past. And, you know, we don't always know what those individuals were into. Maybe they were very creative. Maybe they were very business oriented. Maybe they had, uh, you know... Um, Pentacles isn't always about money as much as just the ability to have a comfortable life, the ability to create and, and live within their means, but still be comfortable. 
Pentacles is about comfortability, you know, not ever feeling lack. Now, if you're able to live off the land, you're going to know how to how to use your resources, right? So you're always going to be abundant. Because we know the tree goes dormant in the wintertime and then comes back out in the spring, right? It knows how to store its energy in its roots so it can weather the cold times. It can weather uh, uh, any... Um, Anything that's brought its way, any kind of, uh, uh, yeah, drought, um, lack of sun, too much rain. You know, the environment, Mother Nature knows how to kind of adapt. And we tend to forget that, right? Mother Earth will always uh, do what she needs to do to protect herself. Um, but you are so protected. That Seven of Swords in the back. Let's throw one more card on this. King of Cups in reverse. For a lot of you, this could be protecting you from false um, false advances in love. False, you know, the Empress here. We all know women are... Uh, and y'all, I just got to bring this up since we got all these uh, animals on this card. Kitty is in the chair directly across from me and Jackie is in the chair just right over there. They are both sitting or laying just as pretty as can be on the fucking chairs, okay? Uh, so even the fur babies are around. Everyone's like laying down and resting, right? On this King of Cups energy, with because uh, this is kind of a masculine on this Seven of Swords card. So some of y'all could definitely be dealing with a manipulative masculine in your situation. Now, granted, this Nine of Pentacles here could be kind of a... Uh, yeah, It's an ambiguous... Character, I'm making sure you all can see the cards, guys and gals. This is, they're kind of uh, ambiguous sexually. It could be a man or a girl. Um, so some of y'all are being guided by your feminine ancestors to watch out for a deceptive male energy. That King of Cups, and let's throw one more card on top of that. Yeah, Five of Wands. Some of y'all, it might be a very uh, abusive type masculine energy and this feminine is coming to protect you to let you know that you can do it on your own some of you maybe this was an aunt that was single that never did get married or uh maybe uh you know six generations removed if you go back uh because mm. i'm thinking six degrees of separation right This energy right here, this Empress energy, though, is protecting you from this false masculine energy. This very deceptive energy. The Seven of Swords in reverse and the Five of Wands there in reverse with that King of Cups. The Seven of Swords in the upright and the Five of Wands in the upright. That's very toxic energy, right? This very combative energy. That's very secretive energy. That's a lot of lies and deception. But they're in reverse here along with that King of Cups. So a lot of you are being protected by your ancestors. Your fe and I'm thinking feminine ancestors on here because that's the Empress card, right? Some of y'all let your grandmamas up there watching over you or your aunties. Because it's like she's, the, okay, imagine you right there. She cradled you. She knew you before you were born. Those of you, you think back before you came on this earth. You knew your ancestors up there in the, in the, in the heavenly realms. They nurtured you. They were with you. They knew what your potential was long before you came down here to earth. She knew your potential. She knew you were going to be blessed. She knew what you were capable of doing. Whether you met this energy or not. And she is going to protect you from this energy right here. Because she wants you to focus on you. Now, if your stability isn't exactly where you want it to be, notice all them pentacles up there in that jester's hat. These are ideas you are getting. These are opportunities you are creating. You know, you create your own abundance. The nine of pentacles is usually a business person. It's a person that's proactive in their life, right? They don't sit around waiting for people to give them shit. Nine of pentacles energy is someone that goes out there and figures out how they're going to get it on their own. 
this emperor stands alone, this uh, nine of pentacles, which is the empress and the minor arcana, she stands alone. Or he, masculines, this could be your energy as well. Remember, we're just reading energies. Feminine energy gives birth and creates and is able to nurture, which men have that capability, right? Just we're trained to be more in the combative uh, mode, the protective mode, right? So for a lot of my masculines, this is you putting down your, your stance to fight and be deceptive and actually embrace uh, the nurturing side of your life. Maybe you need to go in and learn to love yourself. Get in touch with your emotions, which can, you know, some people can see as being effeminate, but uh, uh, you have to be in touch with who you are. You have to be able to nurture and grow and take care. Because you know what? An emperor can raise the child too. You should be able to, to wear both hats. But for my feminines, this could definitely be this, this spirit guide, whoever's watching over you, that knew you before you were even brought down here on earth, who knew your potential. Now, she's kind of guiding you. She's helping you out. That's why them little ideas that you're getting, it's like a little birdie told you, right? You're getting these, you're getting these downloads because even in the animal kingdom, right? The mamas take care of the babies till they're, they're taught and they're able to go out and provide for their own. The only thing we don't see is the, uh, the Bambi here. We see the doe, but we do not see her child. Which is why for some of you, this empress that's watching over you might not have never had children of their own, right? They might have been what, well, back, if you go back six degrees of separation, right, or six, uh, uh, yeah, you know, go back six, uh, generations, uh, you know, a woman at that time that didn't have a husband or a child was considered a spinster, right? And she had to be very resourceful because, you know, she didn't have a man to pr uh, provide for her or, you know, if her father uh, family was to pass. She would be stuck on her own. So some of y'all have got a, a feminine ancestor that maybe never had anybody that knew how to take care of herself. And I'm thinking six degrees of separation. So this was someone that you probably never knew in this life. Your grandma or great grandmother might, your great great grandmother or great grandmother might have known if you're lucky enough to have a great grandma around. But she remembers you. She blessed you when you were up there in heaven. For some of you, she sent you down to be the child she never had. But she, it's like she's going to give you the wisdom that she had. The ability she had to create and be resourceful. Because the Nine of Pentacles is the Empress in the Minor Arcana. She's like, oh, you're going to get to my status. But if there's any toxic masculine energy around... Uh, she's taking control of that energy as well. Because <laughs> it's almost like this King of Swords here, or this King of Cups with the Seven of Swords. You see that bluish, that kind of sad energy. It's almost like someone's getting a little angered right now with that five of wands and she is protecting this situation. Let's pull one more card. Yeah, look at that. Hell yeah, she's protecting that situation. <laughs> look at the imagery on that star card. Whew, look at look at that. So for my singles out there, masculine or feminine, just know you can do this on your own. You don't need a toxic energy that's going to come in and, and, you know, false love, be, be deceptive and be very uh, combative with you. Uh, it's like um, this ancestor right here is definitely uh, giving you the ideas and the knowledge that you need to be independent on your own. Okay. She's bringing you the healing. 
She's giving you the insight. Definitely pay attention to your dreams. Because even look at those two uh, vessels uh, that's holding the water. That's very old school energy, right? When you think of the olden days when they poured the tea. Now this person didn't have to be single. Maybe they were widowed young. This Empress energy right here. But she was very resourceful. Because remember, uh, there for the longest time, women couldn't hold property, right? When you go back six generations, you know, women weren't allowed to have anything. You know, if it wasn't for the suffrage movement, women wouldn't have the right to fucking vote, right? And there's still that inequality that we still face. This was a very strong-willed feminine energy, and my masculines, even when it comes to you, she could be setting your ass down and telling you to get balanced out. Maybe she's tired of you finding deceptive, uh, you know, this could be a deceptive feminine energy that just wants to come in and, and fuck up your shit, right? There can be feminines that, that operate in that masculine energy. You know, there's women that, you know, want to create and, and do the fuck shit that we normally think of with masculines. So my men, this don't. <clears throat> don't discard this reading because you could learn uh, this valuable lesson as well, right? This strong feminine energy could have taught you. But you see that? if you know, Most of you didn't because I'm still thinking that six degrees of separation. She met you when you were in heaven before you ever came down to this earth. And she blessed you. She's blessing you now, but she's giving you the ability to create on your own, to be productive on your own. Pay attention to the messages. So if you've got stability now, she's giving you more uh, ideas on how to create more stability. Because think, if you go back six generations, guys, women weren't allowed to have property in their name. Women weren't allowed to have shit. So if a woman was left to her own devices, she had to be pretty fucking uh, creative. See, this is an all-natural environment. She lived uh, off nature. She created off of what was around. Mm-hmm. Earth signs, I want to look at the bottom of the deck. Two of Wands in reverse. The Tower in reverse. Six of Cups in reverse. Ten of Wands in reverse to the Seven of Pentacles. This was an energy at one point in time that had doors closed to her. You don't have that now. You know, there are still restrictions. For women and you know there's still inequalities there but you have a hell of a lot more options than this feminine ever had right so she's going to come in and help you avoid any tower moments any negative issues from the past a lot of you that childhood healing helping you heal from your past energies so you can release any burdens and you ain't going to have to work as hard as this energy did to be abundant because she's going to show you how to work with what is around you. How to create with what is around you. Because look. She's like, look. There she is. This could have been her when she was younger. You see? Creating the abundance. She knew how to work with what was around her. She knew how to provide for herself. Regardless of what situation she was in. Right? Right? She's going to pass that energy on. She's going to pass that information on. She's going to pass that gift. Um, if anything, the gift of just being. Um, oh, what's the term? Uh, wise being. Um, fuck. It's a big word. I can't think of it. She's going to teach you that resourceful. How to be resourceful. So pay attention. Pet, you see them three pinnacles over the head, right? She's got that in the basket. Same way you're holding that in the basket, right? You're in a different time, a different place. You might not be out in nature having to provide for yourself. You know, if you didn't plant it, you didn't eat, right? Um, if you didn't uh, kill your food, you didn't eat, right? 
you're in a different situation. You're in a different type setting, but you're still going to be getting them downloads, that information, that protection that you need. Because for a lot of you, you know, she probably had to do this on her own. Because back in the day, if you go back six generations, women weren't allowed to hold property. Women weren't allowed really to work. And if they did work, it really was kind of frowned on most of the time, right? You see her, she's out there, she's abundant. This is you now. But you're in a different situation. You ain't. You don't have to get out there. You're not surviving in the wilderness, right? You're in a different... Uh, a different time, a different era. So you've got different uh, ways to get your money, to get your abundance in. She was able to live off the land. She was able to, to work with what was around her. You can too. It's just going to be a little different energy. My masculines, again, don't think this is just a feminine reading. I'm just reading the cards. So men, take this if this resonates on your behalf, okay? Uh, feminine energy is just able to create and grow and birth things and bring it to fruition, right? And the feminine energy is always having to work with obstacles. There's always obstacles in women's uh, path, right? Uh, even nowadays, uh, as much as we've advanced, there's still uh, restrictions put on women. <laughs> Look at that progression, though. Someone is definitely guiding you and teaching you from the lessons they New and a lot of you, you met this person up in heaven. They blessed you before you came down to earth. Does that kind of make you think of the Garden of Eden up there? Whatever your vision of heaven was. Blessings coming in. Pay attention to them coins up there. Pay attention to the coins on that jester's hat. You're getting the ideas. You're getting the opportunity. Some of you, you're getting the downloads that you need, right? But I want you to pay attention. If there's any negative energy around, a lot of you, this is helping you. What what restricted this woman, what kept this energy stuck from being able to go maybe move on and advance in life the way she wanted to, she's removing those restrictions from you right now. She's helping you avoid the pitfalls that she did. The tower in reverse. The Six of Cups in reverse, the Ten of Wands. So maybe if she couldn't own her own house, she's going to give you that opportunity. If this uh, energy couldn't have a child, maybe she's going to bless you with a child down the road. She's going to make sure that you ain't going to have to do the work that she did. Getting out there working the land and having to work your ass off just to stay alive. She's going to help you remove a lot of those restrictions. Every restriction that she had, she's going to make sure you don't have that restriction. And that's going to come in the form of blessings. Three of Pentacles right there, right? Not going to have to worry about your stability, where you live, what is yours. If you want a child, making that a possibility, right? For those of you that want that. Ten of Wands, not having to work so damn hard. Making your life easy, blessing you, bringing you the healing that you need. And for a lot of you, it's getting away from toxic love relationships. The lies, the deception, the combative energy. Wow, Earth signs. That's a beautiful, that's a beautiful fucking reading. The resolution, the more you heal, the more you trust it. The more a lot of you, maybe some of you want to go back and trace your ancestry, right? Pay attention to your uh, dreams. Pay attention to your astrology. For a lot of you, once you tap into that energy and you start believing and having faith and trust in yourself, uh, loving yourself, taking care of yourself, making sure you're drinking plenty of water. What I've I, uh, seen somewhere that someone says you can... Uh, like right on your water bottle, positive affirmations that kind of charge even the drinking water that you drink with positive energies. Look at that. Trust the guidance that you're getting. Trust trust your dreams. Trust. It's like you're being blessed. As I went down to the river to pray. Yeah, that's all I remember of that, right? Maybe some of y'all, you're going to get baptized. Um... 
in, in, in this healing water that this ancestor is going to spread down on you. Woo, earth signs. That was fucking beautiful. That was deep. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I love it, though. He, you can ring my bell. Ring my bell. Ring a ling a ling. Trust the guidance and the intuition. Uh, do the healing that you need to do and be open to your abundance. Some of y'all, I, I keep thinking six degrees of separation. So peace, love, and light, earth signs. Peace, love, and light.